Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review slash comparison video of um, the Funko 2017 Fall Convention Exclusive 11 with Electrons and 11 with Egos. So let's start with this review slash comparison video. So you can see on the top of the box here, the background is just gray and it says Pop Television. And then she has her cute little face poking out, which, um... The artwork on these two are a little bit different. Anyways, so it says Funko and Black right here. And then the background over here is just white and it says Pop Television. And then it says 11 with Electrons. But this one says 11 with Egos. Then she has our little number down here, which is number 523. But this 11 has a different number because she's a different Funko Pop. So her number is 421. And she has a cute little number, or no, 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 <clears throat> face poking out. But they have slightly different artwork. And then on this side of the box, the background is just when Mike, Dustin, and Lucas find Will's bike in the woods. And they have their little flashlights. And then you can see Eleven with Electron's uh, little artwork. Oh, which by the way, you can watch the My Eleven with Egos review after we're done with the video. It will be my Stranger Things playlist. Anyway, so their artwork is, again, different. And then right here, it says 11 with electrons in white. But this one says 11 with egos. And then she has her number, which is number 523. But then she has her number 421. And then on this side of the box, it says Pop Television right here. And then it has her artwork right here, which, again, is different from each other's. Okay, and then right here it says authentic merchandise for the Netflix original TV series Stranger Things. And then it says 11 with electrons, but this one says 11 with egos. Um, and then we have everybody you can get in the collection, which is different from 11 with egos because this is from series 2 wave 1. Uh, no, wait, this is from se wave 2 of series season 1, and then this one is from wave one of series uh, of season one um so i'm going to be doing something a little bit different with them i'm going to be doing um everyone you can get and then every one that i have with series one and then i'm going to be doing everyone you can get and whatever ones i have on series two of season one afterwards hopefully that makes sense so you can get number five one one eleven hospital gown which i do not have her yet Next up, you can get Hopper, number 512. I don't have Hopper. Next up, you can get number 513, Jonathan, which I do have Jonathan. And you could also get number 514, Nancy. I have Nancy. By the way, the review of Jonathan and Nancy will be in my Stranger Things playlist if you want to go check it out. And you could also get number 515, Brenner, which I have Brenner. There's also a review of him on my channel if you, can, if you want to go check it out. And then we have all the ones you can get for Wave 2 of Seeds and Water Stranger Things. You can get number 2, 4, I mean, 4, 2, 1, 11 with Egos. Obviously have her. Oh, by the way, I like to count on the difference is that she has a price tag. I know it's just because they came from a different store, but I thought I'd mention that. And then you could also get number 4, 2, 2, 11, Underwater. And she's a Hot Topic exclusive, and I do not have her. Then you can get number four, two, three, Mike, which I have Mike. Again, review in my Stranger Things playlist. You could also get number um, four, two, four, Dustin. I don't have that, Dustin. You can get number four, two, five, Lucas. I have Lucas. You can get number four, two, six, Will. I have Will. You can get number four, two, seven, Barb. I have Barb. You can get number four, two, eight, the Demogorgon, which I have a different version of the Demogorgon, but this isn't it. And then you can get number four, two, six, four, three, six, Joyce, which I do, I do have. Okay. <clears throat> and then it says collect them all down here. Um, and then it shows everybody that it's branded by, 
which is Funko and Netflix. But the weird thing about the branded section of this one is this company that I don't know the name of. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard of it before. Isn't on this one. So I'm wondering if this is the company who makes Egos. Which it probably is. Tell me in the comments down below if you know. By the way, the background um, is sort of a wall with the black paint with the Christmas lights. Okay, so then we have the front of the box where it's just the same as this side of the box, only you cannot really see it that well, but I promise you it's the same. And it says Pot Television right here, and Netflix original TV series Strange Things, and it has number which is number 5 to 3, which again is different from 11 with Egos. Shira's number is number 4 to 1, and then it says Pot Television right here, and then she has her sticker right here, and it says. Funko 2017 Fall Convention Exclusive, and it has the little Freddy Funko um, Eiffel Tower right there. Not Eiffel Tower, um, I don't remember. Lady of Liberty. Um, and then we have her arc right here, which, again, is different from Eleven with Egos. Okay, and then it says Eleven with Electrons, which this one says Eleven with Egos. And then this one, um, the age... A uh, warning is different. Just gonna point that out. Cause look, okay, this is just like a bunch of stickers and lines and stuff. But down here it just says ages three plus. Oh, by the way, the reason why I'm not going into full depth with this is because the review is supposed to be about Eleven with Electrons, and I already have a review up of Eleven with Egos. So if you want more details with her, you know where to go. And then we have the bottom of the box, which just has a bunch of warnings and the price scanning code. <laughs> um, and the warning down here for. Ages three and up. Okay, now we have the actual Funk Pop. Now she, let's start with the bottom. I mean, the top to the bottom. So she has her electrons on her, which is just a really Christmas lights in real life, but still looks super cool. Um, they're just like um, white strings, I guess you could call them, or techie stuff. And then these flashy things that I'm not sure what they're called in like real life. But then Eleven with Egos does not have that on her head. And then she has her brown shaped hair. Oh, and by the way, there's this middle part right here. And there is some brown wiring. I just realized that. Um, also, another difference of the two Funko Pops is this Eleven with Egos has a little bit of dirt on her face. Um, on her forehead, to be more specific. Well, this one has a clean face because she hasn't gone outside in her life. Except for maybe being transported since being born. Anyway, so uh, then she has her brown eyebrows with um, her bloody nose and her uh, black eyes with her black eyelashes with her cute little nose, which by the way, I don't know if this is just my Funko Pop, but her nose bleed is longer than this one. Um, I don't know if it's just me or if it's just the way it is. Um, anyways, so I like to go on to what they're holding after I'm done with their faces, but wait. And then she has a little bit of blush on her cheeks. Forgot to mention that. Um, but she has a little bit of dirt and blush on her cheeks, which I thought was really cool. Um, anyways. So, she's not holding anything, but she has an 11 tattoo on her. 110. Um, you can't really see it in the box. I'm not going to take it out because this is... Give it a good 10 years, you know, and plus, I don't take my box out of the box, but I promise you, she does come with an 11 tattoo on her, um, left hand. Okay, but this one is holding. Okay, she does not come with an 11 tattoo, but she's still all amazing. So, this 11 is holding, um, one egg waffle um, and, uh, an Ego waffle box, and then she has, um, a wa Mike's watch, so I'm, a it must be covering up, uh, the 11 tattoo, and she also has her jacket covering it, which again, the other 11 has none of that, which honestly, I like that, what if they made a set where they had, like, this 11, but she had, like, an angrier face, and then it sh there, they could have, like, put, like, a, a little table that was kind of her size, and then they could have put like a little crushed, crushed, uh, soda can. That would have been so cool. Um. So then, eleven 
there's not that much detail into her, but there's so much. <laughs> she has her hospital gown on, which is the same as the other hospital gown one, but it's way cool though. So the it's just a white one, and it just has these tiny little flowers that are a blue color. That it's a very very what do they call it? I don't know. But with this one, she's not wearing a hospital gown. She is wearing the pink dress that Dustin and Lucas find in the attic where they have, like, all their dress-up stuff. So it's basically, like, the neck is just white. And then um, on her chest area, there's just ruffles in pink. And then she has, basically, the skirt area of the dress. Oh, and by the way, her hands are just to the side. Okay, and then uh, at the bottom of her... She's wearing no shoes and no socks. She's just plain bare feet. Because why do you need shoes? And what is it? Hawkins Lab. But this 11 um, has the shoes that uh, Lucas and Dustin find in the attic. Which are just white and they have yellow and green stripes. And, they, and she comes with... Um, white sneakers with white lace. So that is my review of Eleven with Electrons slash comparison with Eleven with Egos. Showing all you people who think that they're the same thing. Well, they're not. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. By the way, I promise you my 8-bit bar review is coming up. It's going to be tomorrow. And so is the two-pack with Eleven and Egos. Not Eleven with Egos. Uh, Eleven and Barb. Also going to be the next day after that. So, just want to be, I have to be patient. Bye, guys.